Hello guys, welcome, welcome, Hata here again, and we are back to Kokoro Bakamonogatari, this really awesome game. Um, we are in the golden week, and we actually was went for a walk, but found Mokuchan, and we are now with her in Akihabara. So let's continue. Whoa, the streets of Akihabara are flowed flooded with people. Golden Week in Tokyo sure is exciting. For a moment I was worried I might lose Moku-chan in the crowd, but luckily she's wearing that silly American hat that sticks out like a sore thumb. I can hear the digital th thunder of arcade machines rumbling out of storefronts when their doors open. The smell of Tankyoaki emanates from the street vendors grills and it's making me angry as fuck hey Moku-chan, are you hungry right now? yeah, angry for dick food, I mean oh, I guess I could eat I take a look around but I'm overwhelmed by the number of restaurants in the area it's hard to choose just one I notice some girls cosplaying as maids wandering down the street Handing out menus. I wonder if they are from a maid cafe. That sounds like it could it could be exciting. Excuse me, miss. Yes. Mokuchan doesn't attempt to hide her amusement. You look like such an asshole. If you want to take my menu, then I'd rather you just leave. I don't want to say anything in front of Mokuchan, but I actually think that the ice queen looks pretty cute in their maid uniform. What are you doing here dressed like that? Your attitude for deductive reasoning is sorely lacking, player son. Isn't it obvious that I work at a maid cafe? My therapist told me that I should spend more time speaking to other people and less time talking with my sock puppets. While I was re <laughs> reluctant, at first, I ultimately found that I didn't have any major complaints about this job until now. So you need a doctor to tell you to stop acting like a freak? Let it be known that this interaction is going to set my psycho-social psycho development back at least a month. Cry about it. Unless you want to give us a free food, that'd be kind of cool. I'm afraid that is against common policy. Typical corporate bitch. I bet you just suck the hassle of your handlers expecting an handout. But you just ask me for free food. I don't need to listen to this. Let's bail to Chen. Okay. We walk away from Bichu-san and she's engulfed by the crowd. Well, that totally killed my lady, Boner. I feel like a cold womb. Do you still want to get some food? Tuchan, I never underestimate my appetite, sexual or otherwise. Mm, okay. I feel like Morkuchan contradicts herself more often than she realizes. So where do you want to go? Somewhere cheap, intake made of money. How much money do you have on you? Morkuchan turns her pockets inside out and then brown moth flutters out. Oops, looks like I'm short on cash. You wanna help me out here, best friend? I would, but I don't have much. I do have money my parents gave me, but I don't want to be responsible with it. You, kn you know what? Normally I'd be really pissed at you for saying that, but I just remembered I got the dime bag I could part with. Are you talking about selling drugs? Yeah, we could just get some money the old fashioned way. A day of honest hard work. No, what are you stupid? We steal it. That sounds even more scary. Too bad, pick your poison to Chen. I gotta get my hands on some cash. Sell. Sell. I guess we can sell. It's a wise choice. We can do this out in the open, though. The cops will be all over us the, like piss on a human toilet. I know a place, let's wait. Until the sun goes down though. But I'll be starving by then. Why do we have to wait that long? Look, I don't make the rules, it's just how it is then. And you are not hitting without me, that's rude as fuck. Okay. 
<laughs> After spending an entire afternoon clutching my stomach and salivating over every bowl of noodles in Akihabara, night finally comes. Makuchan leads me to a dark alley down the road from a nightclub. There's a huge dumpster here, and it smells like there is at least a couple of decomposing rodents lying at the bottom. For a moment, I'm worried about getting mugged until I realize that we are the criminals in this scenario. Obey. We are the hell. <laughs> Where the hell did she get that outfit? Let's see if any of my usual clients need some shit. Don't the buyers usually contact the dealer? Mokuchan produces a smartphone and taps on the screen. Ah, uh, my phone's dead. Oh. We are, go we are gonna have to use yours. Mine? You want to use my phone to sell drugs? Why are you freaking out? What if the, crop the cops track my phone location? What if they are listening or something? I'm too young to go to jail. Don't be such a little baby. You you know what? You make the call. What? You heard me. It's good life experience. But I'm scared. Do it. No! Do it! Okay. I don't want Mokuchan to be disappointed in me. I pull out my ancient brick sized cellular phone. The fuck is that thing? My parents have an old cell phone plan. Your phone looks older than I am. Who am I calling? I will tell you the number. Mokuchan receipts a number to me and I dial it into my keypad. It's ringing. This bitch better be cup. Hello? Oh! Uh, uh, I panic as sweat <laughs> trickles down my forehead. My eyes frankly, fran frantically dart back and forth between Mokuchan and my feet. Do you, do you wanna buy some drugs? Mokuchan rolls her eyes. Who is this? I turn to Mokuchan and whisper. I told, I told you I'm not good at this. Kyoko-chan? Who? Who the fuck is this? I stare at Mokuchan silently <laughs> pleading for advice on how to handle this. She's just giving me the amused but indigni indignant look. Just tell her that Hayes girl has some good shit. Me Meet her at the usual spot. Um, I'm calling for his girl son. She has some good shit for you. Oh, for real? I mean, I wasn't planning on buying tonight, but I did get the holiday bonus this week. She says to me at the usual spot. That gross dumpster, right? I hope she realizes that sketchy as hell. Yeah. Whatever, sure, I'll be there. The other end of the line goes dead. She hung up. But she's on her way, eh? That's what she said at least. Good, good. See, was that so hard? I guess not. Now you are you are on, on your way to becoming a woman. Human. Human, no, woman. <laughs> I'm so proud of my little Tuchan. I'm not little, I'm taller than you are. Shut up. Is this chick ever gonna show up? It's been a half an hour already and I think my stomach acid has begun curdling. I'm so fucking angry. Even the thought of eating dead animals from the dumpster sounds appetizing at this point. We are approached by a girl who looks almost exactly like Genki-san. Hey girl, guys. Genki-chan, is that you? I'm Genko. Oh. Right, you literally just call me. How come you can never tell us apart, Mokuchan? Cut that shit out, you can't use my real name during a deal. The name is Ace Girl Laka, Lil Echi. Sorry, Azu Chan. I stifle a, a giggle. I have never heard of a drug dealer with a name as adorable as Azu Chan. You got an itch, I can't scratch. Hmm, I just wanna buy some weed. Then you are in luck, girlfriend. I got some sweet ass people's kibble <laughs> right here. What? Try to keep up, sister. I came up with that one straight off the dome. I got the most nutritious nuggies this side of Nagasaki. 
but you won't find this good good in any kid's meal. I feel as though there has been a subtle yet seismic shift in Mokushan's personality. Like a gentle earthquake, very low on the richer scale. If this shit was any more loud, it we get a ticket for the serving the piece. Only the finest stinky tank for my best customers. Can I see it? Have you ever seen more banging spots? It's a new strength call trigger. Dude, this just straight off oregano. What's up? I said that's oregano. Nah, it's it will get you fucked up, take my word for it. Azuchan, I work in a restaurant. I know what or oregano looks like. This is oregano. Oh yeah? Why not open it up and take a whiff of those skunky nugs? Yankushan reluctantly takes the baggie from Mokuchan and opens it up. She inhales deeply. Yep, this is oregano. Oh, come on, don't be like that. Be like what? I'm just telling you the truth. Yeah, just don't be like that. Dude, this is whack. I don't want to season my pasta. I want to get placed. So, are you then joking around or do you really have some good shit for me? Alright, I feel you fam. How's this? This shit's called the Chiba Chronic. It's supposed to be a really mellow high. It's some top shelf grass and I can't tell you are a connoisseur. That is little, literal grass, like long grass. You gotta be jo joking me. This shit's primal. This was total a waste of time, don't fuck with me Maku-chan. Heko-chan walks away in the half. Maku-chan turns to me enraged. I got fucking ripped, <laughs> ripped off. Uh, weren't you just trying to rip her off? No, the fucker who sold me this shit, my supplier. He made me think this all was weed. You think Maku-chan will know what weed looks like by now. I got tons more back home. I sp I spent 30,000 yen on all this garbage. My stomach <laughs> grows as I think about all the food I could buy with that much money. I was saving up all that allowance money just to get ripped off. Suddenly a, a tough looking middle aged man strumbles out of a door that leads out to this alleyway. Gangster. <laughs> What the fuck is going on out oh, here? Yeah. Oh shit, she's here, Tuchan. Without hesitation, I take Mokuchan's advice and stare shout in the street. That guy looked like... Like he meant business. I'm not in the mood to find out what he would have done to us if we'd stayed. Maybe he's a dealer too. Maybe he thought we were encroaching on his oh, turf. Yeah. He might have even killed us. I'm encircled by a herd of strangers, I feel safe once. I feel like I have some degree of anonymity again. I slip away from the crowd and catch my breath in front of a concert venue. I'm seriously out of shape, I feel like my lungs are gonna cave in and I barely run a city block. Where's Mokuchan anyway? Oh wait, there it is. There she is. Christ Samara, that was almost a disaster. That's what I was afraid of. We've, we could have been caught. I'm gonna have to find a new place to sell. You can't say that again. Come to think of it, I don't know if we would have got in trouble considering Mokuchan was actually selling oregano and long grass. <laughs> I can never be too caref careful these days though. Got any more brilliant, brilliant ideas, Einstein? What do you mean? My plan just went uh, up in flames. No money, no food. I wasted my entire day hanging out with you when I could have been getting noticed by senpais. I'm sorry. Oh no, I don't want Mokuchan to think I'm lame. Why don't I make it, make it up to you? What do you mean? I do have money right now, you can borrow it and pay me back later. Or you could give it to me as a gift. I mean, here you go. Happy Golden Week. I end up... Oh man, you are screwed! You are so screwed! 
to Chan, I end up, I end Maku Chan a wet full of cash I had stuffed it into my ba back pocket. I knew you were cool to Chan. Hehe, <laughs> yeah. I think I'm gonna eat my weight in Takoyaki tonight. Maybe I should have thought this through a bit more. Am I really that desperate for Maku Chan's approval? approval? I'm so glad you are my best friend, Tuchan. Tonight is gonna be amazing. Yeah, I totally am. What and what's wrong with that anyway? Oh my god. You are screwed. I can't believe that after all that we ended up at a cafe in Akihabara with no more money than when we started. Seems like Mokuchan doesn't think things through very much. Sorry about shit not working out tonight, Tuchan. Totally thought that turned out better. Win some low sum, it can't be helped. The night is still young though. I wanna make it up to you with a kick ass dinner. But I'm paying for everything. Waitress, how can I help you? Is this a fucking joke? I can't believe that out of every restaurant in Akihabara, we just so happened to choose Bichu Sons. There is no way I can eat with the ice cream staring at me. I feel like I'm gonna hurl and I haven't even tasted the food yet. Mokuchan, please. I'm starving. It will take forever to get a table somewhere else. Can we just stay here? You're lucky I'm in such a de generous mood right now. Great. You can shut your fucking face hole. As you wish, now then. My name is Kuro. I'm going to be your server this evening. What can I get for you? Hold up, I just realized something. You gotta do whatever we say. You are like our own personal slave. I work in food service, so yes. This is awesome, Tuchen. What should we make her do? Honestly, I just like some food right now. Can I get some coffee, a French crudo, two glazed donuts and an eclair to start? That's reasonable, thank you. I want you to call me Big Sexy. What can I... <laughs> get for you a big sexy son shit this is tight give me your money how about I give you our specials menu bend over what you have to do what we say if you want to a good tip Mokuchan leans close to me and whispers devilishly and I'm gonna give her the tip alright I'm very confused by Mokuchan's in window, considering the fact that she does not have an, a penis, unless she wears a strap on at all times. I won't be entirely surprised by that, to be honest. That is completely rude, salacious, coarse, and offensive. Bichu's son actually looks kind of pissed. It's unusual for her to emote all at all, and this is creeping me out. If you if you'll pardon my French, you can get the fuck out of here. But what about my pen pastries? I may be small, but when my tank is empty, it's hard for me to even function. All I can think of is food. I can hardly believe my eyes when I see Opai Sensei walking through the front door. Opai Nesan? Opai Sensei stifles herself and glances around the room, acknowledging the public audience. I mean, Makuchan, sweetheart, what are you doing out this late? You didn't call all day, and I have been terribly worried about you. Yeah, my phone's dead. Which, which reminds me, you said you were going to buy me a new charger last week. You know my cord is busted. Makuchan, dear, it's only broken because you were using the cord as a G-string thong. Only because you are too cheap to buy my sexy underwear. Oh my god. I don't want to have this discussion here. Let's not bother the nice people. I hope you realize what this will result in when we get home. Fuck. That's right. Now be a good girl and say goodbye to your friends. Or it will just make things worse. The ice queen isn't my friend. She's a creepy weirdo and I hate her. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Bichu said. I guess I'll see you tomorrow then. Maku Chan is grounded. You'll see her at school. Oh, okay. 
Well, this is total bummer. Do you still want to get that food player, son? Dude, are you kidding me? Of course, but you don't have any money. The domestic drama that unfolded before me did not temper my appetite in any way. I did not suffer this bullshit today to deny myself of sweet, creamy French delicacies. I'm gonna try to find whatever small pleasures I can in the remainder, the remainder of my night. I've got to salvage something positive out of my vacation to time. Yeah. I sneak back home through my back door, which leads to the kitchen. It's very quiet. I can only hear the crickets and hum of my refrigerator. I am tempted to get a midnight snack, but I already stuffed myself full of pastries and instant curry at cafe. I'm still pretty sad that I won't be able to see Mokuchan for the rest of Golden Week. I don't really have any other friends, so I guess I'll just stick around the house. He tiptoe up the stairs to my room so I don't wake, my, wake up my parents. I open up my bedroom door and I'm slammed in the face by a wall of heat. Fuck. I left my computer on all day and it made my room super hot. I take off my clothes and flop onto my bed. I'm too sweaty to put on my big bedtime shirt and I'm too tired to take a shower. I think I'm just going to lay here for a while and stew in a pool of my own filth. It's been <laughs> one of those days. Sometimes my adventures with Mokuchan are really fun. Today was not one of those times. I still want Mokuchan to like me though. I need to get, to get a piece of that sweet potato. I guess I'll have to wait till I see her at school time then. Waiting is a difficult thing to do sometimes. I hate that feeling of stasis. Wait a second. Did I forget to do something today? Yes, you did. Fuck. Yes, you did. School is exceptionally awkward now that I know the weird power dynamic between Opai Sensei and Mokuchan. Mokuchan is <laughs> still dishes out pinging peeping hot burns to Opai Sensei every day and Op Opai Sensei still tries to keep her cool. I'm guessing the faculty won't let her stuff Mokuchan into a septic tank during school hours. I haven't been back to Mokuchan's house since the dinner party incident. I don't think it <laughs> I will be going back either. I have a plan though, since we can't hang out at her house I'm going to invite her out somewhere. It will be like a date, right? It's a real date, right? I don't know. I'm still not sure what I'll say exactly, but... Shit, I just so hard to swallow her. Do you like that word, swallow? I just made it up. It's a combination of the words swan and woe. I like it. So, is that everyone? So the sun is still absent? Not anymore. Well, look who decided to finally crawl out of her loser hole. I five Makuchan after this has al almost become a reflex at this point. I'm not even going to honor that statement with a response. Looks like we have another resident priest shit now. You better sit next to the ice cream cause you ain't sitting with me and my best Tomodachi. With my best friend. You don't understand Mokuchan. I have changed. At first I was crazy bummed about being your side bitch all this time. Like it didn't matter who I was. Like I didn't matter at all. But then I realized how stupid I was being. I met her. I don't need your swallow displays of public approval in order to be fulfilled. I'm finally star starting to love myself. Oh really? Back when we were friends you told me you used to love yourself all the time. Can't convert to stretch your spunk bucket. God damn it, she's a genius. I find this enchanting emotional grinning. Can we stop? Ah ha ha, your no new best friend is trying to stick up for you. She is not my best friend, I'm still frightened by things I don't understand. I respect honesty. I seriously don't get paid enough to deal with you girls. I'm dismissing class early today, so I can do something productive with my time. But we just got here. 
It's an exclusive order. Executive order. Please leave the classroom, everyone now. That was pretty weird, huh? Sure. Uh, but I'm not complaining. Who needs school when you can do literally anything else? Good point. Excuse me, Mokuchan. Do you know where your Onesan's classroom is? Uh, uh, she's right through that door. Thanks. Catch you around. Bye. Mokuchan looks like she's just being hit by a bullet train. If only I could arouse such feelings from her. You okay, Maku-chan? My heart's gonna give out. This is the end. It will be okay. He's gone now. That's not the problem. It's keeping him around. How will I steal my sister's Zanki boyfriend from her if he spends all this time with her? I'm sure I would seduce him if I could just give him the old pop cycle routine. I used to crush on Largo Senpai majorly, majorly hard when I was first here. Ever since he started going out with my, with my sister, I see him all the time, so close, and yet so far away. It truly makes my girlhood grow with longing. <laughs> I have an idea that could help her get your mind off of that guy. Oh, really? What? Let's go out tonight. You never cease to surprise me, Tuchan. You lovable goofball. Where are we going? You are leaving it up to me. Yep, I seriously said making choices myself. Oh no, what will I do? I can't think of a few places, but how will I decide which one is best? Just be yourself, try to impress her. Uh, I will choose just be yourself, but since Moku Chen is a real person, I will try to impress her. I was initially thinking about taking much Moku Chen to this American hamburger restaurant near my house, but I think that's too easy. If I'm going to get inside Maku-chan's pants, I'm gonna have to class it up. There's this really exclusive club in town called Sakaden. If I could get us in, I bet she'd love me. Also being drunk always helps lighten the mood. What would you say if I told you I already have reservation at the, the sake then? Get the fuck out! Even though I'm lying, I think I might be able to pull this off. I have some connections. There's no way you can get us in! They don't let us... Don't, don't, they don't let us, high schoolers, into a place like that. Don't worry, Smoku-chan. I have got it all taken care of. Meet me there tonight at 21. 9 o'clock. That's too cool. You're such a better best Tomodachi than Genki-chan ever was. Moku-chan smiles. Smile is so warm and loving. I can feel the butterflies making rum rumblies in my chest. I can take how cute she is. I will see you tonight, Tuchan. Moku-chan Moku gives me a hug before she leaves. I can feel her tiny breasts pressing up against my own. And I get all hot and buttered, 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 my buttered, <laughs> buttered, <laughs> ah, that was not, actually it wasn't a bad idea though, to get all buttered, <laughs> but before I know it, she's gone. Oh, my god. I did it! I managed to... Whoa! She's... Okay, that was funny. Well, I did it! I managed to weasel us into the second end. We snuck into s in through the back and I had to play it off like I was in the VIP entrance. It's okay because Maku-chan can be pretty gullible sometimes. The place has been popping non-stop since we walked in. Me and Moku-chan have been boogieing our little asses off. The music's loud, the alcohol doesn't stop flowing and it's really dark in here. Actually, why is it so dark in here? There aren't any windows. Why aren't there any windows? This place is fucking dope, Tuchan. I have just drunk so many alcohols and nobody even gonna try to stop me. Yeah, this place is pretty sick. 
I sip on my own drink apprehensively while I have taken up selling drugs with Mokuchan recently in order to get some spending money. I haven't imbibed in them all that much myself. I'm still a baby substance abuser. The one time I tried to cook with Mokuchan, I just felt dizzy and couldn't sleep at all that night. I didn't realize like it very much. This is my first time trying to veer. I know, it must sound weird that I have had cocaine before, but not veer. Funny how oh, it works out like that sometimes. Tu Chan! Yes, Moku Chan. Tu Chan! What? Tu Chan, you're my best, best, <laughs> best friend ever. Moku Chan is more than a little drunk. I'm kind of worried she might throw up on me. If I do try to thong her, punch her in the mouth later. You're my best friend too. Actually, I have always thought you were so pretty and cool. That's cause I'm... Bitch. <laughs> cause I am, bitch. That's why you're awesome. Cause you're my best friend. Every time she calls me a friend, my heart sinks a little. Does this mean that's all I, I ever be? I mean... I'd be cool with being a friend if it meant I could sample her most sacred fluids but the part, <laughs> part of, of me has really grown to like her too. As a person I mean, I know she can come across as mean sometimes but she's just misunderstood. Thanks Makuchan, I am actually... Oh fuck, what am I doing? Do you think we could talk about feelings for a minute? I can't believe I'm doing this, but YOLO! I'm right? Fuck yes, I have so many feelings I'm gonna tell you about. Last night, <laughs> I she clicked my cooter so fucking hard to a nudie pic of Largo Senpai. I still love my sister's phone. Ew! I kinda weird and also I feel really gross now. That man is so freaking sexy. I could probably get off just by fingering his belly button. If I tell Moku about my own feelings for her now, it will just make things really awkward. I don't think I can do it. I totally blew it. I should just accept my fate. Makushan loves Largo Senpai. Why would she ever want to get with her best friend? What we were gonna say to Chen? Fuck, I can't tell her now. No way, I need to think of a distraction. Hey look, there's another room towards the front of this place. I don't think we have checked it out yet. Well then, what are we waiting for? Bitches, roll out! <laughs> Holy shit! Is that a Paisiensai? <laughs> Fuck, what are you two doing here? Damn! Oh dear. Opa Sensei's teeth are looking like overstuffed sex of floor. How did I not realize how mouth watering a rack still until now? What are you doing here, lady? How old your mother feel about this display of bodily parts? I really hope these jeans runs in the family. I can't oh help but imagine Mokuchan with such a smoking body. Who the hell let this get the brain third year foot nug nuggets in here anyway? Tuchan, you didn't tell me this place was a titty bar. That's bar loot, don't you think? Security, somebody! Get these fuckers out of here! What's the problem, Opai chan? Woohoo, looks like we are gonna get out get thrown out. This wasn't what I was hoping for. Aniki-san, get these girls out, they shouldn't be even be here in the first place. You got it, we'll teach these punk kids a lesson. Oh shit, I don't want to get beaten up, I only defeated Genki-chan by sheer luck. And something tells me that lightning won't strike the same place twice. Open for the inspection of Aniki-san, I noticed some tattoos. Pinky gun from his plunging V neck button down. Could he be with the Japanese Mafia? The Yakuza? 
However, they control a lot of the clubs in this prefecture. I was looking to get my knees broken tonight. And Nicky Sands isn't alone either. He's got a whole crew of shady goons weirdly welding baseball bats backing him up. They look really intimidating and I think I might have just peed my pants a little. What are you looking at, you ugly rat bastard? Mokuchan, what are you doing? This girl is going to get me killed. How could she be so self-confident in a situation like this? What did you just say to me? I have seen gorillas that are sexier than you. Especially ones that I... <laughs> Higashiyama. <laughs> Higashiyama, Zu. You look like a total cripple, man. Shut up. Shut, shut your whore mouth. Keep it up, and I'll have my voice kick your ass the next week. Wait Mokuchan looks weirdly smug. You should know that my name is Mokuyobi of the Yakisoba clan. My name means Thursday, and I'm not afraid of your, if of you or your little boys club. Yakisoba? That name don't mean nothing anymore. Can't you see we have got your sister roped? around our co collective finger your old man's dead when, she, when he de died when he died so did your family name you can't fuck right off you middle aged ash bin if i wanted to i could crush you like a plum in my bare hands you have got some lip on you girl i think picking your sorry ass would be too good for you i was about to sell you and your friend off to to the G GSDF as comfort woman. Ouch, that's controversial. Bring it on, Lamio. <laughs> it's your funeral. I'm not gonna take any more shit from a little girl like you. Come on, boys, let's get him. Holy shit, I'm too young to die. And I sure as hell don't want to be sold into prostitution. There's nothing I can do. My fatal position technique may have worked on genki -san, but these guys probably don't have an inner ear problem. Oh what is Mokushan even thinking? She's wild and crazy, but I didn't think she would ever go these nuts. Do you trust me? Who, me? Trust? What? What are you saying? I said, do you trust me? Sure, whatever you're thinking, just do it. Save me! No worries, Tuchen. Neko Neko Princess Transform! <laughs> what in the fuck? Did Mokuchan just become a magical girl? A cat themed one no less? This is unbelievable! How long has she been keeping this a secret from me? I feel like this falls into the territory of things that best friends should know about though. Isn't this totally a big deal? Am I the only one who finds this really weird and unexpected? No? Just me? Okay then. What kind of craziness will issue now that Mokuchen has become the magical girl heroine Neko Neko Princess? What in the hell? What is... What is this witchcraft? It couldn't be, could it? It must be Yakisova-san. I think about what you are doing. It doesn't have to end up like this. You messed with the wrong vicious bitch, son. Any last words before I kill you? Oh dear. I suppose it can't be helped. I want to die honor honorably, as my ancestors would have wished. Before I die, I have a few things I'd like to say to everyone. There are so many people I must m make peace with before I embrace the void of oblivion. First, I'd like to apologize to my cram school teacher. I'm sorry I shitted on one of my tests. I still feel the shame to this day. All right, that's enough. Time to die. Time to die. In a flash of light, Neko Neko Princess has summed, summoned, summoned. A floating mystical submachine gun encased in shoujo bubbles. How could something so cute be so deadly? 
Although I guess the same thing could could be said about Makuchan's herself. Maku magica bullet hell. The kawaii firearm bursts to life and starts raining a hail of bullets down on the Yakuza ducks. Makuchan's bullets carry in across the club and tear the bodies of their targets to shreds. Blood is spreading everywhere. This is absolute carnage. The divine retribution of the Neko Neko princess is swift and averseful. Once the bodies of the belligerent groans has been reduced to pulp and the dust settles, I notice that Opai Sensei is bathed in the blood of the Yakuza men. It's really nasty, but also really erotic. Those dudes fucked with the wrong magical girl. This was such an incredible display of violence. But my heart is pounding and my body is pumping with adrenaline. Moko Chan is so cool! Let's blow this corpse party, come on, Tu Chan. Right on! Moko Chan takes my hand and we make our exit. I try my best not to slip on the blood on the dance floor. We barge outside and fall into the streets, our love for escaping into the night air. That was amazing, Mokuchan! You are damn right, I'm so fucking pumped. I need to do something to get rid of all this primal energy. I'm with you, girl, let's do it. You wanna see some crazy shit? Is that even a question? Mokuchan grips my hand tight tighter. Suddenly, I feel my feet lifting off the ground. Am I flying? What the fuck is happening? Before I know it, I have been rocked into the sky. I am holding on to Makushan for dear life. But holy shit, this is amazing! Maku-chan, I didn't know you could fly. I'm a magical girl. I can do all things of crazy shit. Isn't the view from up here incredible? Absolutely. I have never seen anything like it. It's beautiful. Yeah, I especially love the moon on clear nights like this. I just feels like kind of magical. If I were you, I would do this all time. I actually take a midnight flight whenever I feel like shit, which is every night. There's something really therapeutic about the wind in your hair and the ground 100 meters beneath your feet. This whole night has just been unreal. Through the fog of my cloudy thoughts, I have a moment of clarity. I understand my feelings for Mokuchan now. This feeling that I thought was some sh sexual desire all this time, it's love. Mokuchan is so amazing, we have so much fun together all the time. She's holding me right now and it's cute as shit. <laughs> She's even saving my life tonight. This has to be love, I know it. But, but what will I do? I just can't tell her what I feel. That will ruin everything. We are coming up to my favorite shield spot. Hold on. Wow, this is just beautiful. I got to admit something to Chen. Holy shit. Yes, Maku-chan. This was one of the best nights I have had in a while. Between getting sloppy drunk, dancing, wanton murder and being able to fly away with someone, I have had an absolute blast. Usually when I'm out having fun, I'm just distracting myself in an attempt to repress my own feelings of self-loathing and existential dreads. Tonight was different. I actually feel good, like really genuinely good. I completely forgot about how lonely I feel all the time and how much I have been obsessing over Largo Sensei Senpai. Oh my Chris Sama! This night turned out exactly as I had hoped. Of course, Mokuchan, I'm so glad I could share this night with you. Yeah, I haven't thought about how Anki Largo Senpai is for at least a few minutes. Oh, <laughs> awesome. I haven't even had a single thought about him dread lifting my tiny body 
and let me slobber all over his rippling biceps. Yeah, nice. Nope, not a single thought of Largo Senpai fucking me like the brutally man he is. What the fuck? Holy shit, Tushan, I just realized something. Oh boy, here it comes. Let me guess, it's just... I'm gay. What? Yes, it all makes sense now. I don't love Largo Senpai, I love you, Tuchan. How could I not have realized this earlier? You are such a hot potato. I wanna touch you sexually and love you forever. What is happening? Oh, please, Tuchan, please, let me... <laughs> That you feel the same way. I don't understand. Is there a gas leak in here? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, my queen. I love you too. Oh, yes. Thank you so much for returning my affections. Moku chan hug me tightly, and I can feel her magically enhanced boobs pressing against me. It's so warm and nice. I have an urge to touch the butt. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna touch the butt. Oh, not so fast, Chen. Shit. Wanna take things slow? Fuck no, let's just go someplace private so we can really explore each other's holes. But we can't go back to your place. Your sister is probably wanting, waiting there and she will put you in the box for a whole week for what you did tonight. At home, I have a special secret place. It's PA Storage Shed at Sakura Blossom Academy. We can totally do each other there and no one will ever know. This is the best night of my entire life. <laughs> so awesome. So awesome. Wow. I didn't know Mokuchan could be actually Sailor Moon like. Uh, princess, magical girl, whatever. Whoa, I'm loving this game so much. Well, if you are watching these videos, you probably should you should yeah you should play this game it's awesome so thank you again so much for watching if you want to play it just go to the description there is a link and support the developer also there is the first uh, game of the series um, I'm thinking of playing it as well after I finish this one and again thank you so much for watching see you next time